stacked stone fireplace with LED lights. See how it's done, start to finish. Okay, so working on a fireplace here for uh, an old client that I've done a bunch of different tile work for. I did a bathroom for him and also a uh, kitchen backsplash. But um, back here doing this very complicated uh, fireplace or it's a gas insert actually. So uh, let me show you what's going on. So we got this stack stone that we're gonna be installing all up and down this fireplace here. We're gonna be wrapping the corners. He's gonna have a large porcelain panel tile on top of this counter. And there's gonna be another cabinet here. He's got all this lighting underneath. We have an access panel under here. The gas, but like the gas. So this is all. This is all ready to go over here. So we just got to put the cabinet back. He already got the cabinet back on here. We have stone underneath as well. I don't know if you can see that. We have the stone under there. So that's all set to go. And I got the bottom row down over here so <clears throat> now up here in these niches we're gonna have the same porcelain panel tile going up and down the sides the bottom and the top and the stack stone is gonna go in the back of the niche and the stack stone is also gonna wrap around over here we have to get this tile on on the cabinets before we can wrap this around here and then we're going to also have little pieces of stone wrapped around these corners and going all the way around this gas insert so okay so this is a piece we've got a piece of marble here to add in a piece over here so we polish this edge here right here and then we're going to add a piece underneath uh, i didn't think mitering this was going to work very well in fact, the blade kind of really made this rough. I changed the blade to a better blade. Maybe that'll work better. So we've got this one cut here. And then we're gonna now, we're gonna cut this one here. And then we're gonna put the piece underneath here. So let's get to doing that. Okay, so we're gonna polish this edge here. And we're just gonna got an angle grinder and dry polishing pads. You can also use these wet. So we're gonna polish this edge here and you go through 80. It goes 80, 120, uh, 240, 320, blah, blah, up to 600. So we're gonna go one at a time to give this a nice, good shine on this edge here. So let me get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the with the 80 and I'm just gonna get all the saw marks off and this edge is very rough so I'm just gonna smooth that edge out and I'm gonna I'm gonna polish this edge here so let's get going so this is marble so you should probably a mask so that you don't breathe the silica. So anyway, let me get back here. So I guess now, even with the, just the 80, this edge is nice and cleaned up and it's very smooth. It's not polished, but it's smooth. So now we're gonna go to the 120. You can use these wet if you want to reduce the dust. Okay, so no point doing the same thing over and over. So I got the 80, I mean, got the 120, you're gonna go all the way through 600, and then we'll show you the results. Okay, so that edge is polished, it's hard to see 
in the camera but that is a polished edge now we're going to cut it okay so we're going to measure this and cut it now i'm actually going to measure it and i'm going to draw a line and then i'm going to check the blade hits on both ends of the line and then cut it so we change
this one cut. Yep. cut. We'll cut this one now. Okay, so we cut this piece here. It goes in here. And then we're just going to butt that tight. Like that. And this line will practically disappear. And we have to do what we got to do. Uh, we're going to be cutting this side as well. And then we're going to cement it in. Okay, so I'll get these pieces on right now. We've got a pretty aggressive trowel here. Uh, I think that's actually more than a half inch deep. But that's what we're going to use. I'm going to put this. It's not going to move right. No. Put this here. And I need the back part of this. So this is marble, so it will scratch very easily. So I am put down some paper here, protect it. Colored marble, you use white thing set. So over here. So I'm just gonna back part of this one. I'm trying to collapse the reaches so it gets full coverage. There's no pulling this up now. So on this I'm going to give it the back part of it. I'm also going to leave some pins that on there. Because when you press these down, they tend to go below the surface. So a little extra pin that's going to help keep it level. So, let's see for a sec. It's straight. It's the polished edge.
See, if I push that down with my fingers, it's not going to go straight. So I'm just holding this flat on here, flat on here, so that when I push it on here, and I'm just pushing, pushing, keeping it in plane. some stone on the bottom of that so Because we're gonna get okay so we got both tops on now I am going to cut this piece that goes under here and we're gonna put it because it's more than 48 inches we are going to put a seam in the middle and uh, that's the, the only thing we can do so I'm gonna go cut these and then we're gonna stick them on. Okay, so we cut uh, we cut these two pieces to go under here. It would have been nice to have one long piece, but don't have it. So this goes like that. This goes like that. And then this stone is gonna wrap around. It's gonna come around here and then wrap around there like that. So this whole corner is going to be wrapped with this stone all the way around so this this edge is going to be covered and this is all going to be covered in the back there we're going to put a piece of piece of this stone not very high and all the way around but that's the plan so i'm going to get these on that very time, hopefully so just, this one here i've already stoned to smooth off the edges so these two edges have been, you know, slightly smoothed off. I mean, it's like I can see a little bit more. Let's hit these a little bit more. So this is, actually, why don't we do this thing? Let's do this at the top. Let's do this at the bottom. So, so this is going to be like that. You got to be very careful.
because this will break in your hand very easily. Just uh, put it in there. And let me smooth this one off too. So just to get that rough edge off it. Much, but the thing is, you put don't put enough. So, this is why. Yeah, <laughs> get And we'll put less stinson under there. It's to be expected when you when you. This was porcelain. Yep. Wouldn't, have, wouldn't have happened. is you put too much you can't get it down you put enough and then you can't pull it you don't put enough you can't pull it off So we got that piece on, and now we're going to do this one over here. Okay, so the bottom row, the bottom row was already cemented on, so we cut this corner here, and we're going to go across, and we're going to wrap in this corner. So these pieces are very small, so we just did an L here to see if we can get, you know, just to hide that little spot a little bit. And then these pieces are coming up here, 
uh, let me put this down, up until we get to the corner, are going to be very, it's going to be just this wide here, this, this width here, and the same on the other side, we cut the other piece on the other side. So now we're going to, we're going to mix up this set, get this roll on, and then deal with, with the next piece. you that was a small piece so I could do it on that one but mm -hmm. before you notch out notch it out you want to fill in all the all the void make sure you get flat on the back and you fill all those see how there's empty cavities there if you just notched it out then that would not be good so now now I got it all filled in. Come and notch it out. Are you putting anything on the right here? No, I'm not going to put anything there. Because that's just going to squeeze out mm -hmm. like a big mess. Okay. 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 And then, as I push this in, some of this is some of this is going to drop into there anyway. When I push this on, some of this is going to squeeze mm -hmm. out into that corner anyway. And that is that corner there. So this piece here is the drop off from this piece here. So you got matching pieces going on in the corner. And the corner is never going to be perfect because all these stones are very it's never going to be perfect. Just trying to get as best I can. never going to be perfect because these stones are all different different planes so okay same process on this one here I'm going to back pipe up first and if you wonder what thin set this is this is Adex X77 uh, any modified mortar would work here. It's just something I happen to have in the truck. So that's all I need. It was an overkill for this application, but it'll be perfectly fine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Get this one on. That one 
move. Now, before I put this one on, I'm just going to test fit it. So I'm just going to test fit, fit this, make sure it works. This actually, this piece here, um, the glue let go and I snapped it, but it's around the corner. We're going to piece it together and you're never going to see it. Uh, the whole motor is fine with that. Perfect. So, let's get this one. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be the corner piece. So this is gonna be in the front, and then this is gonna wrap around. The reason that you wanna try and use the same, the drop off, is so that you have the same thickness tiles coming around the corner. Otherwise, it doesn't work very well. So I'm gonna cut this one on a diagonal this way, and then I'm gonna cut it on this, this way. You'll see in a second. So, let me just get this done. adjustment if I need it. You have to go this way and look. Okay, let's cut this here. This there. Okay, that's there. Let's see. So we got this one cut here, and we got this corner piece cut here. It came apart, but it's, you know, two, two whole pieces. This goes in like this. So we're gonna put this one on first, and then we're gonna go cut the other ones. So.
Okay, so I got this corner up to here. It's, it's gonna be rough because it's just the way the stone is. And I got this corner over here, done up to here. Now I'm gonna come up here. And then before I put the last piece here, we got some, gonna put some the large format marble up here and cut a few holes. And it, this doesn't have to be too fancy because no one's ever gonna see it. So let's keep going on this. a bit of a challenge to cut this one here because there's practically nothing on the back it's just a, like that but we got it so this goes like this this goes like this and and that's basically going to complete that corner like that so that actually worked out pretty good let's see if i can yeah that's basically going to go like that so don't break this. <laughs> so. And now this part here. this as much help as I can. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. So I gotta make draw, draw, drill this hole here, but I, this is very probably not even gonna be able to drill this hole. Probably gonna break, but we're gonna give it a shot. So I'm gonna make a template so I can hold it still. So I'm just gonna draw this hole out of here first. Exactly. See what we get. See if we're able to get this one. I'm going very slow because I don't know if we're going to be able to cut it. Gonna be able to cut that. Look at that. So let's go see if it fits. Gonna try. Whether I succeed or not is a different story. And now I gotta push it in. <laughs> Let's see if we can get rid of one piece. One piece.
lined up. In here. This one here goes like this. Very fiddly, very time consuming. I think we're gonna call it done. Okay, so I have this corner cut, which goes here, like that. Got this little piece that goes down here. Just like that. Remember these stones are all different thicknesses so they're gonna they're never gonna be at, on the same plane. See how they all vary in distance here. So this one gonna go like this. So let's put this one first. This one goes in like that. This one goes in here like this. corner and then we're putting this as a splash but we want to cut off we've got the same bevel you know because it's a threshold so it's got a bevel so we're going to cut this bevel off so I'm going to rip this channel off here and I got it clamped in here because these long narrow pieces tend to want to move <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can get it done but I'm just gonna hold it down and see what happens We just gotta polish the top. I'm not gonna do that right now. I just wanted to see how that would cut. So let's do this upstairs. Okay, so this is our piece. This is our little backsplash. We're gonna polish this top edge because it's rough. And so that's basically it. I think uh, I think that's good. That's done. We're not putting this on right now. We're just concentrating on, on this area over here.
Okay, so I've been working on this corner. This is a very, very tedious corner. Uh, we got this all cut and on as we showed last time that we cut it. So this is cut. We cemented all this on. We came around this corner and we filled in all underneath there and we cut all this here. We're gonna, there's gonna be a, a piece of stone on top of here and the, and the um, this stack stone is gonna come up to the top edge. But we'll get to that. Now I'm working on this corner here. So these are all cut. This goes, so now I got a corner here and a corner here. So this goes like this. Like this. So here you want. This goes like this here. Wrap that corner there. And then we got this piece comes around here. And now we got this hole completed. And that makes this the rest of this all up here, the rest of this a lot easier to do because we only have this miter here and these are gonna be all straight cuts. So once we get this on, uh, it's gonna go a lot, I think it's gonna go a lot quicker. So yeah, this was a very tedious corner to get this to work. So let's put it on. So I have this marked so I don't make a mistake because it's just a tiny little sliver shut cut off here. It's like a maybe an eighth of an inch. So you can, it's easy to put this on upside down. So I got that marked. So this is just supporting the towel so it doesn't slip down. done I'm gonna put that piece in put that piece in over there we're all completely done underneath tomorrow we can take out this support and this side is done this corner is also done I mean this was a pretty tough corner to figure out but we but we got it done okay so so we cut this here it fell apart when I cut it but I just go this goes like this goes oh yeah this one goes like this this goes like this and this goes like this we lightly polish these edges here because you know what we're going to show and then the piece of marble that you on the bottom is going to go like that but it's going to be up here like this we can't get a perfectly straight edge here because it's just the nature of the stone but we're going to get that as straight as we possibly can so let's get these in Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.
things around. Okay. You never want to keep this on here too long because at some point it's going to let go. So you don't want to trust them that much. before I want to keep a straight line here so I'm gonna That's the best we can do. That's uh, these these oh, kill yourself, sorry. these um, stones aren't straight, so it's impossible to get a straight line. I can push this individual one in a little bit. And I can push this one in a little bit. But I think that's as good as we're gonna get. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Took the, the brace off there. And of course we forgot one little piece over here. I'll put that in now. 
and we're just gonna keep on going now. Go up, up, up. Okay, so we've got a couple pieces of marble cut here. One, two. That's the right side that goes over here. And this is the left side that goes over here. I have it marked. So that, so that when I put it up, I'm not trying to figure out which way it goes. Again, this marble is very thin. So when you handle it, it will break very easily. Uh, I actually broke one piece, but it's okay because we can use those two pieces for up above, so it's not a big deal. Uh, can't make any more mistakes. So I'm going to back butter this here and give it like a, a little bit of a notch. And then I'm gonna back butter that and notch that as well because I have to come out flush with this here. So let's, let's do that. And I mix this fairly loose so that I can, don't have to struggle to push it in. So, these ones here are all plumb. This is plumb, this is plumb, this is plumb, this is plumb. This side here goes out like this a little bit and goes out like this a little bit. So if I put this in plumb, I can plumb this out because I can butter it out this way, but I can't plumb this one out because I'd have to push the wall in. So the, the um, question is, do we plumb this and leave this unplumbed and then the, the side gets narrower or do we just follow it? Uh, I talked to the homeowner, we decided that we're just gonna follow that so that it looks all the same size and you won't, you won't really see it. So. I think that's the best choice. Sometimes you have to make compromises uh, because nothing is perfect. I didn't do this prep, so uh, I couldn't I, I couldn't address it when when it was possible. So uh, it is what it is. It's going to look perfectly fine. It's going to look beautiful. I'm not worried about it. See, this is a judgment call on how how far to notch that because because the way these screws are sticking out here, like I said, I didn't do the prep. It kind of makes things a lot harder because I have to make it. I can't just trowel it and put it in. So I'm gonna go like this. Exactly the right depth.
we don't know up above we got another piece that's going to go up there uh, at that where the light is we got another piece of marble but we don't know where we're going to fall with the stone because normally i would put that one in first but because of the way it is uh it's just not it doesn't make sense because i don't know how how big a piece we might have to have to throw that down a little bit to, to make it work so we're just gonna leave that out to get up there and then see what we have and then once we do this one then we know how we can do that one okay just broke off here okay so as you saw when I put this piece in and pushed it in a little corner broke out over here so I cut that piece out instead of cutting a whole other piece I cut that piece out I got a matching stone from the one that broke I mitered that and now so we're just going to replace that piece of stone instead of replacing the whole piece we're replacing the stone so I'm going to get this cemented on you can do that with this because it's not, it doesn't have to be one million percent because it's a, it's a ledger stone, it's a, it's a stack stone. Nothing is exactly even. So. Let's get the cement back on here. Let's see if we can break another one. This is a little bit bold. Get this one here. Clean it up a little bit. And there we go, we saved that piece. I think that's good. Put that first piece in the back. Okay, so we got this on now we're just going to keep building i think we're going to go up a few pieces here then we'll come around to here just to see how this corner works out how the back works out and then we'll come around to here uh, i think what's i think this is actually going to look pretty quick uh, once we get started on that just to recap this is all the bottom we got the lights underneath this is all nice and done Okay, so we got this piece here. This is exactly even with the marble. Same here, exactly even with the marble. We're gonna clean that up a little bit. I came around this corner here, and that's your view from a little bit further away. So it's start to come together. Uh, it's just a lot of cutting, a lot of fitting.
we've got uh, this piece here, right? This piece go here. Now something, I think we're gonna cut cut these in first before we put this one in. Yeah, we that when we put this on, we made it so it would land on a full tile. So this doesn't have to be pitched anyway because there's no water in here, so it's gonna be flat. So now we cut off one row off the bottom. Yeah, so that now when we put this one in, this is the top. It's a full roll starting from the bottom. And this piece matches that piece, this piece matches that, this piece matches that, etc. 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 Well this is a full piece, but anyway, so I'm gonna get this one off. So this is hardy backer board, but we put a coat of hydroban hydroban on here because uh, because hardy backer it's very, very, very thirsty and it just sucks the moisture right out of the thin set. Putting a coat of hydroban allows the thin set to cure properly without the high, uh, the, the hardy backer sucking the moisture right out of the thin set and weakening it. And it gives you time to work with it. If this was, if, if there was no hydroban on there, you put this on, five minutes later you can't move it. this corner and then we can keep building. We've got this one cut through here and we'll cut this one but let's finish this corner first. Okay so moving along here just climbing to the ceiling. This is perfectly flush all the way along. Going along, we got this corner done. It's you know, it's a lot of cutting, it's a lot of fitting. There's no full pieces. There's not a single full piece in this row. Every piece has to be cut, but we're moving along. We just got this little backsplash on. It's just a marble threshold, uh, I think it's like a three inch marble threshold. And we polished, we polished one side top and then we cut off the bevel off the bottom so now we're going to put because there's a seam in the middle over here over here like when we did this when we did the, the marble over here see how there's a seam there we're going to match that seam in the middle because this is more than uh, four feet and we couldn't get a four foot uh, a bigger threshold so we have to put a seam in the middle in here corresponds with this seam that I showed you a second ago. So I'm just gonna extend that so I can see it. Here. Cut that one. And go down and cut that. I'm just gonna go in like that and then I'm gonna come back and cut this one. Okay, so I cut this one. This is going here and up there. Then this is my matching. I'm going to cut this to here, mark it here, so I cut that and then we'll put it on. I got both of these cut, this goes in here, like this. I'm not going to be able to put it in straight because there's a big fat bone in the wall. If I put it in straight. The other one I was able to put it straight. I'm gonna have a big gap over here. So I'm just gonna put it tight to the wall so that you don't see a big gap. 
And it'll, it's gonna have to be, it has to be how it has to be. Anyway, so I back of this, this one here. I just gotta stick it on here. A little special. That way, no special requirements. It's just a decorative piece. drop this down anymore than what it was. Uh, and it just looks better if this is a full piece. So now I'm making, I gotta make this one here. I'm gonna make a template. So I'm just gonna transfer my lines to my holes. I'm gonna transfer them over here. I got one there. And then I transfer this one over here. And then I am just gonna take if I can find my tip measure in my hole here, it's exactly at two inches. I'm going to write that down there and, and work it upside down. So I'm just going to trim this. So this is the tip that I made for the other side. I can still use this, but I'm going to turn around. And this one is just slightly smaller. Trim this little hair. Trim this just a tiny little bit. I don't need this to be the exact size, I just need it. This as my straight edge Let's make a template. So that's the front. And I'm gonna put this this side here, I, I got this perfectly straight here. I'm gonna put that exactly even with the with the board. Exactly even with the board. Push my tape in. No, that's not going to move. Now I'm going to transfer my marks. So I know this is two inches. I'm just going to write that there. So over here, you push up tight against wherever it is that you're going to template, and then you put a line. Same on the other side. Tight, and then put a line on the other side. Then I took these measurements here for my hole. That's one. That's the other. So now I can take this down. And okay, let's go cut a piece. Let's, okay, so this is our piece. I think it's already cut so because it was seven and a half, I already cut it. So this is how this goes. So 
So it's very easy when you're working upside down to put it up the wrong way. So go like this. So that's how it goes. So look at it like that so you know that you got it in the right position. So yeah. Put that even with this edge here because I know that edge has, has to be even. Tape it down. Tape it down. Now, remember how I drew this line? Now I'm gonna put my my edge, my straight edge on, on the line, then mark so it's gonna be right on this line here. Put it right on that line. And I'll mark the other side. And do the same over here. I put it right on the line, then mark the other side. Now I only need three sides, actually I only need two sides for here, but I'm gonna put three. So this is for my hole. So I know I have to be square with that. And then I know I'm at two inches here. Two inches here. That's for my hole. It goes like that. So let's cut this. If you want a little extra secure, you just put a wedge on one side, put a wedge on the other side, and that will lock it into place. This piece goes right there, like that. So let's get this piece on. Drop it. Okay, so it's all done, all finished. Took this a lot of work, a lot of work. In this whole fireplace, there's only five pieces that we put in full everything else had to be cut and fitted everything <laughs>